Charles Darwin is one of the most influential thinkers in the whole history of science. He is responsible for a revolutionary change in our thinking. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection fundamentally transformed the way we think about the story of life on Earth. Now this extraordinary microscope is known to have belonged to Charles Darwin himself. It's small enough to fit in his pocket, and it's a beautifully made object that is just imbued with a real personal attachment to Darwin himself. Now, I've spent a lifetime looking down microscopes, and I've spent years writing about Darwin and making documentaries about Darwin, and so it's kind of magical to think that some of the most important ideas that anyone's ever had were conducted and discovered using this exact piece of equipment. I'm here in the Grant Museum of Zoology at UCL, just across the road from where Darwin actually lived, and I'm joined by James Hislop. Thank you for joining us, James. Just tell us something about this magnificent microscope. It's come direct through the Darwin family, and I just get tingles down my spine looking through it, thinking that Charles Darwin himself pressed his eye against it here. Yeah, you and me both. How, how do we know that it was Darwin's? So this brass microscope, was made sometime between 1826 and 1831. The exact date it was acquired by Darwin, we don't know. This has come from the godson and great nephew of Leonard Darwin, who was Charles Darwin's youngest son, and Charles gave it to Leonard. Here we have Leonard Darwin's monogram. All of the letters are there. What do we know about when Darwin got hold of this microscope and, and when he was actually using it? So unfortunately, we don't know when it enters Charles Darwin's life, but this microscope itself was made just before he goes on his famous Beagle voyage. It's a portable microscope. It's exactly the right sort of size to have been taken out into the field in the 1830s. If I get my Darwin history correct, he's up in Edinburgh at this time, an undergraduate studying medicine, but this is the point where he becomes interested in, in looking at biology, at least marine biology. Yeah, absolutely. The, the magnifications achievable with this microscope are exactly what are required for looking at those zoophytes that he became so interested in. And this accessory here is a, a live box, which is exactly the sort of piece of kit that you would put sea or river water into to look at those marine animals. So it's quite possible that this is the first microscope that really sets Darwin on the path that ends in the origin of species. Even if he acquires it before 1831, it's probably the earliest surviving microscope associated with Charles Darwin. And there are only six that we know survive today. James, how does it feel to be so close to such an important piece of, of scientific history here? Some objects really have that ability to, to transport you back and just imagining Charles Darwin looking through this eyepiece, is, it's just incredible. It, it, it's truly, truly special to be in the presence of something so significant. Thank you very much, James, for uh, allowing me to look through this microscope and bringing it to us today. Mm -hmm.